Hey, welcome back to this special Kearsarge Girls Lacrosse Championship episode of YCN Sports Wrap. Thanks for sticking with us. So after the Kearsarge Cougars made an epic comeback to upset top-ranked Dairyfield, we caught up with a number of girls from Kearsarge to get their take on the win. Let's take a look. Um, I think Dairyfield played an awesome game against us. I mean, they always do. They've always been a very great team. I think that today we stepped up, being the sixth seed and then being the first. I think we had to come out here and just play as good as we could, and I think we did so. I think we stepped up, everyone on the team cheered each other on, we played great, we were very smart with the ball, and we made sure to move around on the attack and play great defense. Our um, goalie Anya, she did an amazing job helping us out, and I overall think that we played a really great game. Um, I think Leslie did a great job handling someone that is face guarding her. I also think that Jackie did a great job stepping it up. And I think the girls on defense and Anya did great. Well, we definitely, we doubled number one, but she has a great shot. She's really great at driving. So I think that definitely helped us out. And then besides that, I think we just really want to stay tight on those girls. And I think we just did a great job. We stepped it up. I mean, last year it was really devastating losing in the championship. And this year we wanted to win. We weren't going to go another year without winning. And so it means a lot to us to be able to take this home. Really exciting for us. And it's just a great way to wrap up the season. Um, I think we showed up a little slow um, off the, like in the first half. I mean, Dairyfield always, they have amazing players and they are a great team. But I think really what pulled us together today and what's been pulling us together this whole tournament is staying together. We all stay together, we all believe in each other. We're all great players, but one of our players who doesn't always score the most, she stepped up today, she did great, and that's what we've been having all these four games, so it's been great, yeah. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start. This championship means so much. We run so hard in practice, and we hate running, so this always pays off, and we've come close so many times, and it just feels so relieving to know that our hard work and our teamwork paid off. So last year was obviously a really, um, it, suck to lose. Um, it was great to go to the state championship, but we obviously wanted to win. It was a very close game. So winning this just felt like everything to us. It felt like our whole lives were complete. It's, it's hard to describe. It's such an amazing feeling, and I've never experienced it before. So um, I think my team stepped up. Every single player on that field was just incredible force tonight. Um, we just came together so, like we were the sixth seed, and I just think we just came together for the final game of the season. It was just perfect timing. Um, well, I think Brevon Barron was just, I, I can't even put it into words. <laughs> um, she just stepped up and so did Jackie DeAngelis. They shut me off and I just, it was, it was perfect. So it was actually one year ago today that we lost and it just, it's redemption. It feels so good to just finally have it in our hands and just win after nine long years. Um, well, we talked about all season long, just this was our swing and it was all the hard work. We took out the third seed, then we took out the second seed. So we just knew it was kind of meant to be just to take out the first seed. And it, I don't know, I don't really know how we did it. It just came together so perfect. So we definitely did not come off the bus right away. It took us 15 minutes to play Kearsarge ball. But I think we had a timeout and Looking back on yesterday, one year from today, we lost, and that was a huge letdown for our seniors last year, and we just want, we did not want to feel like that again. This feels fantastic. Like, I, I don't think it's hit me yet, but I mean, Macy and I have played on this team for four years now. I speak for, I think I speak for both of us when we say we're just overly overjoyed. Like, there's no words to describe how happy we feel. We're on the defensive end, because that's where I am. Definitely Lara Stokes. I mean, I wouldn't have defense without her. She's fantastic. Particularly in this game, Emma Sauerwein and Lexi Philides, they've super stepped up. We lost a lot of good defenders and they completely filled our gaps and they brought us here. I think, you know, sometimes we talk about how it takes us a while to get off the bus and today we definitely saw that. Within It took us like about 15 minutes and then we really just brought the momentum in and kept going. Dairyfield though, they brought a really strong game. You know, number one is always a hard contender, but. We just really came together as a team to bring home the win, and it feels great. Bree Von Baron, oh my gosh. Her and her pre-position shots. It's funny, there's a joke we have. She always says she doesn't play shots, but that girl, she can place one. <laughs> Last year, it was such an amazing game, and to lose was such a disappointment, not only to everyone on the team. And so this year, we really knew that we just really wanted to bring one home. Like, we got here, we got all this way again. We had to take it. I wouldn't say this win wasn't just for this team this year. It's for all those teams that have come before us who've been worked so hard to get here. It's the best thing. I couldn't have asked for anything greater to end my senior year. It doesn't feel real. Like, I can't thank my team enough, and I'm gonna miss them so much next year and I'm so happy we can end our season this way.
Thanks for talking with us, girls, and congratulations on being crowned Division III champions for the first time in school history. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we'll be checking out what Kearsarge's head coach Hillary Grimes had to say about her team's win. We'll be right back. 